Good morning, Homestead family. So today is a sad day and a happy day for us on the homestead. We are pulling up some old plants and we're harvesting some new ones. homesteaders get attached to your plants like when it's time for for the plants to be pulled up because they've produced all they're going to produce I struggle pulling them up even though they're not productive anymore it's like but we know that feelings are not our engine feelings are our caboose we we move forward with logic and reason not with our feelings but Nonetheless, it's just a touch sad today but that I've got to pull up my tomato plants. <laughs> but the good news is I'll be harvesting sweet potatoes today and I'm excited to see what we get from our harvest. So you guys come along with us. So like we said, the tomatoes are at the end of their life. And uh, I've been pulling all these um, ties off and saving them because I'm cheap that way and I want to reuse them why not they're still perfectly fine so before I start actually pulling plants out I'm pulling all these green ties off and these are one of my favorite kinds of ties because they have this soft rubber on the wire that makes them really um, easy on the tomato plant so I'm also going to be pulling onions and here's how you know when an onion's ready this is a good example right here see how it bends right here at the beginning of the stalk it doesn't have that cellulose to it anymore so that onion's ready to pull up We're gonna take them to we're gonna take them to our little greenhouse on the back porch and let them cure back there for a little while so look at the sweet sweet potatoes oh and a bee just flew down in there sweet potato blooms i love them you know the sweet potatoes are in the morning glory family and you can see that when you look at the blooms our loofah gourds are, well, they're growing crazy because they're out of, off the trellis. But on the trellis, there uh, looks like something's gotten them. I don't know, something's eating the leaves. Guys, it's just time to pull it all up, replant for fall. I do love the way the herbs are coming along though. Let's see, this is rosemary, I believe, and thyme, and basil, and sage, and dill, and purple basil. Oh, look at the bunch of onions. It'll be time to pull these up as well. They're looking nice. We've been gifted all the pulling up and let me give you some good news. So we've been gifted some blueberry bushes and um, we have two here and two here and one down at the end there. And um, so we've decided to put these as a barrier on the outside of our garden not as a barrier but just to outside outside of our garden so we can water them but we can also like enjoy a little blueberry snack while we come in the garden to work so those will be going in the ground 
and then I'll be showing and then I'll be showing you a little bit later we're gonna be harvesting these sweet potatoes as well so oh let me show you the little surprise we got in the uh, so we pulled up the watermelons a couple of weeks ago about a month ago I guess but um Sorry, you got to pull out a piece of grass. And then I put the, got the horse manure and put it down. And look, we have a watermelon plant growing back here. So we're just, we just let it go. Maybe we'll get another late watermelon for the summer. Kind of cool though. If you follow us, <clears throat> you know that we had a, bed of peas in this bed and um, the purple holes in the other bed did really well they've already been harvested and they need to be pulled up now to, to replant as well but this bed all the leaves on the plants curled up like this like when they came out they curled up and then the peas were like twisted, like gnarly looking peas. I can't find it. Here's one that's just a weird pea pod. And we thought, you know, something might have been sprayed on them or something that caused them to do that. So I pulled all these peas up and replanted. And guys, I did it again. So there's evidently something in the soil that's causing this twist and curl to the leaves of these that I mean like the leaves look okay right here but then these this is what happens I'm not sure why this is happening here's one right here so I don't know That's pretty much what has destroyed the tomatoes this year. Last year it was hornworms. This year it's these little orange and black bugs. Um, but it was towards the end of the year. So we planted onions around our tomatoes this year to keep the hornworms away and they worked. But then these other bugs came along. So we've also unfortunately had some pines in our back property that have been attacked by pine beetles so it's just been a year of bugs disheartening but it's part of nature it's part of life um, we deal with it and we move on i have a plan this coming season for dealing with um having so many bugs to just wipe out a whole crop um, but i'll talk to you more about that as the new season comes along. about pulling out these tomato plants because it's like when you clean your kitchen when your kitchen is a mess and then you clean it all up and you get to see the clean so my beds are getting clean kind of generating a little excitement about what I'm gonna plant next so uh, be sure when you pull your tomato plants or any plants up that you kind of shake the roots real well leave as much dirt as you can possibly leave only take roots 
So there you go, but guys, it takes longer to uh, take all the little twisty ties off the tomato plants than it does to actually pull them up themselves, but that's bed number one. Um, like I said, we'll be harvesting onions too. I'm gonna get over here in the shade to talk to you. It's a great time to also weed your garden when you're um, pulling up those things, get all the last of the weeds out. Um, one quick reminder, I had to go put my garden hat on because it is the sun is just brutal here in Florida. And guys, play, see, please stay hydrated as well. Um, it's getting up into the low 90s today. And so um, it's easy to get overheated real quick. Or, you know, you know what your body normally does if you start seeing new things happen. Get inside, cool off, drink some water, and then take a break and get back later. I think I told you about my random tomato plants that came up just from this new bed because I put um, compost in the top of it. But look at that, three tomatoes from the new tomato plants. So we out with the old, in with the new, right? Okay, so here are my tools for this specific job. Um, I've got a bucket to put my potatoes in. I've got some gloves because I'm going to be digging and I don't want to dig with my bare hands. And then I am probably gonna clip some of the tops of the sweet potatoes off just so I can get to the roots because there are a lot of leaves on top that are just going to be in the way and they're not needed anymore. So here we go. As you can see, this is going to take a while, but I did want to show you, we've got some really nice ones. So I think I'm going to go get something to help me dig a little bit with because the bigger ones are really down deep, but I'm excited about what we're going to get from these potatoes. So I enlisted Mr. Homestead's help because a lot more than I could dig by hand but we're getting some Look at that big one right there yeah there's one sweet potato <laughs> all right let's see what kind of it's kind of like Christmas let's open it up and see what kind of package we got here <laughs> oh, I see some orange you have to be careful to get under the potato so you don't chop the potatoes there's yeah, there's some. You kind of loosen it up. One. Yeah, that one got chopped a little bit. Holy cow! Um, maybe we let them in here too long. <laughs> no such thing. Pull the vine, baby. Could you chop uh, it? I chop it. Yeah, so you look for where the plant goes into the ground. Try to get rid of all this excess and it'll help you. Um, Got to try to make sure we don't leave anything. There's one right there. There's two. And so we, what we're doing is here's where it goes in. So coming back and trying to go deep and get underneath them is what we're trying to do. Kind of loosen up the soil. There we go. Ah! Uh, it's so big. I thought I was under it. It it didn't. I didn't split it. It just snapped. Yeah, I think we waited too long to try to. these hey guys I got to cool off but I wanted to show you real quick what we just harvested we just picked 
two and a half five gallon buckets of sweet potatoes. Hey, thanks for watching you guys. And always remember, do your best and watch God do the rest. Bye-bye.